My name is Alexa Mead. I paint on the surfaces of objects and people, and when I photograph it, it looks like a flat painting. The DC art scene is definitely evolving. Growing up in Washington, DC, I was exposed to a lot of politics. It was something that I was really fascinated with as a kid. I technically live with my parents in Chevy Chase, Maryland, and it's the same house that I grew up in. And I'm incredibly lucky that I get to do this starving artist thing, and so I'm very lucky to have been able to live with my parents. The spaces I spend the most time with in my house kind of sandwich it. There's the attic, which is my bedroom, and then the basement, which is my studio. I'm really hardly ever home these days. It would be nice to be able to spend more time there. I find darkness so much more fascinating than light, and I wanted to find a way to kind of capture this. So I started putting black paint in the shadows um, cast under objects, and I thought, well, what if I also put black paint on the sides of objects? And then I thought, well, what if, in addition to having the shadows, I also have the highlights, these areas of glare, of intense light. And eventually then I thought, well, what if I also use the colors? And all of a sudden, everything was just covered in paint, every surface of everything. And then I started taking photos to document my work. And I realized all of a sudden that something was going on here. I keep all the painted objects that I use. So I have countless pairs of clothes and props and furniture. I am so in love with my Buick Roadmaster. And I think that it's my most prized possession for sure. Her name's Barbara. Barbara goes with me everywhere I go. She's definitely my partner in crime. This was my first time painting a car. It's a very shiny surface, and painting reflections and glare is one of the hardest things I can do. But the paint just glided on so effortlessly over the smooth surface. Clothes actually take a surprisingly long time to paint because it actually took me probably three times as long to paint the jacket as it did to paint the model. The only thing that I do on the day of the final photo shoot is paint the model's face. I think I have like this obsession with noses, though the first brush stroke always goes on the tip of the nose. For this shoot, I thought that I was going to be really into this idea of having the model sitting on the bench, and then there would be the car in the background. But then something unexpected happened, and that was that the sky had these gorgeous streaks in it, and it almost looked like brushstrokes smearing through it. And I wanted something that became more about the sky and how the light hit the car and the model. I'd always kind of dreamed of painting a car. This is definitely the most ambitious project I've done to date.